Today we are going to review in circuit test its capabilities and ultimately its benefits to manufacturing test. As a quick review, Solution Sources Programming is a test and measurement firm specializing in design for test, boundary scan, in circuit test, and functional test and system integration. What is in-circuit test? In-circuit test is a combination of many different instruments into one piece of capital machinery. Often located at the end of a manufacturing line, its primary focus is capturing manufacturing defects prior to functional test. In circuit test, often referred to as ICT, measures electronic parameters of a printed circuit board assembly. Its highly automated program generation means we can both build a fixture and generate a custom software program in a matter of weeks. ICT provides very good node level diagnostics and it is highly repeatable. This process requires a fixture and its effectiveness is design dependent. Test access for probing is required. When people ask me about in-circuit test, I often tell them the goal of ICT is to capture manufacturing defects. This includes tombstoning, solder shorts, missing components, lifted pins, or poor soldering. Defects per million opportunity numbers and numbers of defect opportunities are key factors impacting yields. This slide shows yields at the y-axis. The x-axis is number of defect opportunities, in this case number of solder joints. The different curves are for different DPMO values from 50 to 1000. Note that for a circuit board with 15,000 solder joints, the yield is very close to zero. And even for an extremely low DPMO value of 50, the yield is around 50%. Also, for a board with only 5,000 joints, you can see that yields are low for the most. The formula used can be seen on the bottom of the slide. This assumes total random defects. In real life, you typically have clusters of defects, so in that case, you typically see slightly higher yields. In order for an application to achieve the highest level of coverage possible, it is common for people to implement design for testability reports. These reports provide an overview of test accessibility as well as a schematic overview. The goal of these reports are to determine any potential coverage problems up front early in the design where design engineers can often drop test points accordingly. By incorporating a good DFT report, engineers are able to ensure that their product is in a position to take full advantage of modern testing techniques. The most common in-circuit test platforms are the Keysight, formerly known as Agilent 3070, and the Teradyne TS-124. Please note that the TS-124 has backwards compatibility with the GenRed test station platforms. In-circuit test development consists of a base platform as previously shown, a fixture in software development, and for today's modern products, and circuit testing often includes advanced boundary scan development. Some applications also include a portion of functional test integrated at in circuit test. The following are examples of ICT fixtures. They can range from extremely large complex fixtures with pneumatically actuated cylinders to standard wired fixtures 
and everything in between. The focus is to create a quality, reliable, and sustainable fixture that can last the duration of the product. In conclusion, in circuit test measures electronic parameters of printed circuit board assemblies, it is highly repeatable, requires a fixture, and the effectiveness is design dependent. In order to maximize this effectiveness, we recommend that you run a design for testability report at the beginning of each design. Test access for probing is required and we are primarily targeting manufacturing defects. The goal is to improve yields at functional test. Each percentage improved can equate to thousands of dollars saved. In conclusion, work with SSP up front to get a proper DFT in place and prepare your design for a robust manufacturing test strategy. For additional questions, please visit our website or call us or email us at the information provided below.